Hi, Matt. Thank you so much for speaking with us today. Could you start by first telling us when and how you started exploring teenage mental health? I am a parent and my kids got to the teenage years and I started having conversations and about teen mental health. Over the last 30 years, as anxiety and depression and self-harm have risen, there's been a sharp decline in a series of other risks that affected my generation. Teen pregnancy is sharply down. Cigarette smoking is sharply down. Even with vaping, drug use is down. There had been a profound transformation in the risks faced by adolescents. That's what made me go, whoa, something's up. I was talking to my teacher the other day and I was showing her TikToks. She kind of just looked at me and she was like, how do you guys even function? Like you guys are taking in so much information every single day, every single minute. There are two things going on right now. Explosion, this volume of information. It's way too simplistic to say social media. The other piece is the adolescent brain. When you hit puberty, your brain becomes particularly aware of social information, craving of social information. Why is that? Because you're making a transition into adulthood where you have to find your place in the world. Could you elaborate a little bit more on what this means for someone in their everyday life? So the parts of the brain that help make sense of all that social information aren't necessarily developed. The potentially great news is, as we understand these mechanisms, as we understand the onset of anxiety and depression and give it names, there are many tools that young people can use to begin to see what's happening, give language to what's happening, and begin to see it for what it is, which is a temporary emotional state rather than something to ruminate and become obsessed by and act upon. As you see my generation growing up, right, like Gen Z, how are these like effects on mental health that you studied being carried on into adulthood? My observation is you are winding up with a ton more wisdom than prior generations. I think you're hitting these challenges at an earlier stage and it's going to serve you well and make you more compassionate. We're at the very early stages of a conversation that could lead to a wonderful inflection point. But we're gonna have to do some work as a society. Public policy flatly has not kept up. And so what that means is we don't have the services in place as a society to help people learn those skills. We're almost still at a time of dealing predominantly with those risks of old. Remember the drunk driving and the cigarettes and all that? Our medical systems are built around that old stuff. We're going to have to adapt. Thank you so much for talking to us today. I'm so happy to meet you guys. It's, it's just awesome what you're doing.